Alrighty, I'm gonna go in here and take a look at the, the lights I got in the shop here. So we can see it's pretty dark in here right at the moment. Let me get that situated here. Now these are the kind of lights, I, I don't know if you can see them or not. That, and of course that's an LED right across there, and there's another one of those over there, water. And this is the one I got here over my lathe. If you can see it or not, it's got them poor, I don't know what they call them, leaves or whatever it is on there. And uh, if I had them on, I'll, I'll turn them on and show you, but uh, the problem we're going to be is they're getting blared so bad, you can't see what's going on. So, okie dokie, we'll get over here and turn the light switch on. Okie dokie, now, now we can turn this off. Yeah, I gotta remember to take that back with me. All right, anyway. You've seen how dark it was before. Now that everything is light in here, but uh, there again, you'll have to kind of overlook the mess. But, uh, I ain't got enough room to put all this junk. I hate to throw it away, you know. But I guess I should. Anyway, that's the way that works on the lighting up there. I've got another light. But, wait a minute, let me put this down. Okay, a couple more lights over there, it's not even turned on, and then one more up here. And let me see, we could, we'll turn this one on here. Maybe I got one way plugged or kind of a pain in the rear end key. There, now, that was a blare of light, but anyway, that way, now, you can uh, pretty much see better with that big high power light and then the, the white background. Makes it easier to see what you're doing when you're around here, not that I you don't know what I'm doing, but you're going to learn to be able to see. All right, and another thing over here is this old monstrosity here. I, th I thought I had it all rigged up with uh, new rings and everything, and uh, it might not have been bad rings. They did not look bad, I grant you, but I couldn't get the thing to run at the time. And I checked it far, and it powered sometimes. I thought, well, that's good. But it didn't fire all the time. It only intermittent. That's why it runs sometimes and does the other. When I had it turned over on its side, or on its back, I, I got oil on these points. I thought, well, that's an easy fix. I can fix that right away. Well, I cleaned them all up, reset them all out, and still no fire. I checked the condenser. I got, this is the one that actually come off of it. They're a little nosy. You had to come in and check things out. Anyway, that, that's the one that come off. But then I had another one here off my... That old Ford tractor I had, another idea. Well, it didn't make a difference. So when they both of them are bad, I went down to the parts store and got that one. They ain't very expensive. Got that, and that didn't help. But, well, for pity's sake. And I tried to uh, test the coil according to everybody on the internet. I couldn't figure out what they meant. So I just went and ordered one of these little pieces on top. Well, that's just not very expensive. That's $14, I think. Everything. And then I figured out what these little wires are for here. Two of them. They go to this little coil on here, and that excites your generator up here. And that part must work because I had, when I did have it run one time, while the, uh, the generator jammed, so I guess that was okay. So I'm waiting on the flywheel. We'll see how that works. Or flywheel, yeah, the coil. I'm thinking about that big old heavy flywheel. That thing's a monster. I have no way. I can see that. If it isn't that big old started real pulley on there, I don't think you turn it over now. And the new ring did make a difference in the compression. I didn't test the compression, but I'm sure it did. Alrighty, well, there's enough to ramble on. See, there's another one, little kitty cat. We got all kind of cats roaming around here. They're ours, I guess, because we inherited the mama from there on. It just went downhill. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get off here and hope this uh, little camera's more still. I did this once before, and the camera's a shaky. It would give everybody a migraine. Alright, that's enough, and thanks for watching, subscribing, and uh, y'all take care.